Good morning. Sunday morning, here we are. It is, I always, I've always got to check on the board, even though I've just written it. It's Sunday, it's Abs Blast. I've even just written it as the title for the video. You think I'd learn what I'm doing by now? Hey-o. How we doing? We okay? So seeing as we've done AMRAPs through quite a few of the sessions this week, I thought we'd do another one. Yay! Just to finish it off. So AMRAP on abs. This one's going to be interesting, I think is the way to describe it. It's going to be different. Morning, Julie. You okay? So we're going to get six exercises. Each exercise we're going to do for four minutes, right? Except in that four minutes, you do five repetitions of that exercise and then you do five crunches. And then you go back to the set exercise and then it's five crunches as round and round and round and round, as many rounds of that as possible in four minutes. Morning. You all right? So uh, we are going to get this done. It's 27 minutes through the whole round, through the whole block. Yeah, this will be good. Quick warm up for the core though. Really quick warm up for your core. So stand yourself up, give yourself a bit of space. All I want you to do, start it out. Turn your feet in slightly, toes pointing in towards each other. And then just start to turn one way, center, then the other, center. Look, turn your shoulders. If it starts to make you dizzy, spinning side to side. And of course, just keep your head forwards. By turning the feet in, we cut out the movement from the hip, right? There is actually a reason for doing this. So we minimize the movement of the hip. We make the abs and the spine have to work more. Not that we're making the spine do the work. But the movement comes from the waist up. And if you don't believe me, point your feet forwards and then try twisting. You'll see you go a lot further but also that's because your hips are turning with you. So keep those toes in. And we can focus the movement into where we're looking, yeah? Right into the waist, into the midline. So a lot of the movements we're doing today are gonna to be focused around lower abs or the middle of the abs. And then that little extra bit we're doing, the five crunches, is gonna be for the top. All right, hands up, just lean it one way. And take it to the other. Still keeping your feet close together so we minimize the movement of the hip. It's more through the waist, through that midline. And make sure you breathe. Breathing helps. Popular pastime. Let's give it two more. And then just shake it loose. All right, last little bit, loosen up the lower back. Just tip forwards like you're trying to touch your toes. Slight bend in the knee, lean it forward, bring it back up. Slow, steady, and controlled. Got to wear my Iron Man staff t-shirt today. Should be the Iron Man over in Tenby today, but some kind of COVID thing. Ruined it, stopped me going and working for the week. Not happy. So the memory of all my Ironman friends and team. Look at this. Two more. And then stand it up. All right, so shake your legs loose. Get yourself ready. We're going down to the floor. Let's start these movements out. Do, 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 do. There's a message from the gym team. Oh, I'll answer that later. So first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna start hands out, we're doing negatives, where you start at the top, you slowly roll yourself down to the floor, tap the floor, roll yourself up to the top, and slowly down again, yeah? We're not hooking your feet under anything, it's just controlling it yourself. So it's five repetitions of that, then five just little crunches off the bottom, and then five negatives. Round and round we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Slowly back. 
all the time. Keep your chin off your chest, chest open. So the negatives, you go back as slowly as you can, yeah? You fight it all the way back. And again, don't hold your breath when you do these. So slow and steady on your way back. There is that tipping point over the back of the hip where you might find as you come back over it, you suddenly just drop. That's where you find a weak spot in your core. This is my fifth rep. So five crunches, chin off my chest, sitting forwards, reaching up, tap the top of the knees, and then up to the top, do it again. So this movement is fantastic, just for creating tension through the abs, for tightening the abs, putting them back into place, flattening the stomach. Ladies, this is a really good one just after pregnancy because it pulls the abs back into place after they've been stretched for, well, nine months. Number four. Two and a half minutes to go. That's my five, so here's five crunches. Up to the top. Come on, let's keep going. We're halfway, two minutes done, two minutes to go. There's my five, let's go around again. You okay? Your lab's starting to warm up a little bit. Starting to feel it a little bit now. I know what is feeling it. My shoulders, front of my shoulder, is still burning after Friday's session. So those rounds of shoulder press. That was a laugh. <laughs> One minute to go. Come on, back slowly as you can. Then that fast. Thirty seconds to go. At the end of this, we've got thirty seconds rest before the next exercise. I might have said four minutes on, one minute off earlier. I was wrong. It's four minutes on, thirty seconds off. Two, one. See, now that's a good place for me to stop because your next exercise is Russian twists. You're going to get five each way, then drop back, five crunches, then five each way, five crunches. Or if you fancy it, because you're doing five each way as ten reps, you could then drop and do ten crunches in the middle. Your choice. Either way, two, one, let's do it. So you turn your shoulders, not just bring your arms across you. Make sure you're leaning back. So once you've done your 10 twists, five each way, it's then five or 10 crunch, your choice.
One, three, turn those shoulders round. Squeeze the abs as you crunch into it. And when you lean your back for that Russian twist, keep that chest up and lift it. Are you going to go my way? Two and a half minutes to go. Come on, we got it. Feel okay? We're into that second half. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. Nine is my ten back to crunches. Come on. One minute to go. Come on, let's see how much we can do. Your lower abs, okay? You start to feel it a little bit. Bottom of the stomach, down by the hip. Thirty seconds to go. Ten seconds. Two, one, 30 seconds rest. Okay, so round three, part three, it's gonna be hands under your hips. You've got flutter kicks. It's gonna be 10 kicks. One, two, three, four, five. Gives you five each leg, and then it's five crunches. If you fancy a challenge with this, make it 15 crunches. Third set, 15 crunches each time. Your choice. Five or 15, but it's 10 kicks. Go! So with those kicks, with that flutter kick, your lower back stays pushed into the ground. And the leg that comes down to the ground doesn't touch the floor. To be fair, you'll get more rounds done if you do five, five kicks each leg, five crunches. And I dare say, overall, There'll be more crunches involved. So you get more work done. And that's why we're here, isn't it? Get work done. Eight, nine, ten. Woo. 
Make sure with those kicks, the movement is coming from the hip, not from your knee. squeeze when you get to the top of each crunch. Hey, we're exactly halfway. Two minutes to go. Feeling. <laughs> wow, keep those abs tight when you're doing this. Low back pushed into the floor. If it starts to hurt your lower back when you're doing that flutter kick. Don't bring that foot down so low. Yeah? So, when you come down, just make it a shorter movement if you want, if it starts to hurt your lower back. You can still work the abs, just takes the stress off other muscles. We've got about 40 seconds to go. I don't know about you, I'm starting to feel this a little bit now. Lower abs, always focus on it. <laughs> and it's not done yet. <laughs> Ten seconds. Thirty seconds rest. So yeah, I said we're not done yet with the lower abs, and we're not because exercise number four of six. We are actually halfway through the whole workout now. Exercise number four of six is reverse crunch. Knees up, lower knees back towards your chest. So we're going to get five reverse crunch, and then five normal crunch, and then five reverse, five normal, for four minutes. This will be a lot. <laughs> Knees bent all the time. Your feet come down so your heels nearly touch the floor. Until you're doing your crunches, of course. Unless you want for a change, when you do your crunches on this one, you could just keep it up. So you keep your knees above you, crunch and reach to the middle of your shin, middle of your calf. But that does keep all the tension still working, lower abs, to hold your legs up. At least if you put your feet down, lower abs gets a little bit of a break. It's up to you, it's your workout. I'm just the guy lying here on a video giving you ideas of what to do. It's my fault, yes. <laughs> One minute done, three to go. So really tuck your knees in towards your chest, get your hips up off the floor, and keeping your arms up. Gives you a target. Try and get your knees at least between your elbows. If they go back further, then great!
Here we go, we're two minutes in, we've got two minutes to go. Big movement every time, come on, really pull it up. Ah. Still with that crunch, chin off your chest, keep that gap. Keep it going, keep it going. And the world. Just over a minute to go. Really squeeze it up for that crunch. Keep going. Thirty seconds. So, exercise number five, you've got 30 seconds rest here. Number five, progression from reverse crunch, you knew it was going to happen. It's dead bugs, opposite arm and leg kicking out. We're going to get 10 reps, five each way, then feet down, five crunches, yeah? So when you kick your arms and legs back, you reach it out as straight as you can. If it hurts your lower back, keep your leg up higher. Five each way. All the time, lower back pushed into the floor. Once you've done 10 reps, feet down, five crunches. And go again. Beautiful, keep going. We're just about one minute in. Play about with the height of your foot and the leg you're kicking out. See if you feel it more at different heights. Use this four minute block to give you a chance to work out which position works best for you. Come on, we can do this. Coming up to halfway. How's your lower abs feeling? Because we're supposed to be targeting them for this session. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. 
Less than a minute and a half to go. So keep your tummy held in tight. One minute. seconds, come on. finish it off. All right, so last round. Last round. We're going to leave the lower abs alone for a little bit for this one. Really simple. You've got five full sit-ups all the way up, all the way down. Full movement. And five crunches. Five full sit-ups, five crunches. Four minutes, as many times as you can. Three, two, one, go. So all the way up. Keep your hands away from you. Don't bring them to your chest and then throw them back up. That's cheating. So there's five short movements, five big movements. So the goal for this is really just to tie everything together. Yeah. 
machine. Come on, let's keep it going right to the very end. 40 seconds. seconds to go. Come on. We can finish it off strong. <sighs> Woo! Ah, we survived. Sushi. What? Sushi. So what are you going to do after that one? <laughs> Just lie on your front. <clears throat> Elbows under you, prop yourself up, little bit of support, chest lifted, it's that slight raise, bit of a dorsal raise here, hips on the floor, elbows under you, just to stretch through the top of the abs, or if you want, push into the ground, really push yourself back, it's whatever you're comfortable with, yeah, still hips down, head up, chest lifted, so we can stretch and open the abs, and the front of the hip, your hip flexors did a lot of work, through all that lower lab stuff at the start. So we just gotta kind of kick it all into place. Keep it working. Bam, bam. Just hold that stretch, ease it all out. And then push yourself up and back. Get your hips back to your heels, just reach forwards. A little bit of a stretch to open the lower back here. So just hunch yourself forward, drop yourself forward, suck yourself in like a little ball. And then to finish it off, just bring yourself up, come up to kneeling again. And just twist and turn each way a few times. We've done some rotation work. Doing this from kneeling, either hips to heels or just on your knees. And a little bit of rotation work that we've done. This will just open things and we'll put it all back into place. Loosen it off. So that is today's session. That is the end of this week, which has been pretty much AMRAP based, just to give everything a bit of a kick. So we're looking at new ideas, we'll have to change this for the timetable for next week. Kickboxing was mentioned yesterday, so yes, we are gonna fit in a kickbox session this week on one of the mornings. What else do you want? What else are we looking for? Ah, you're welcome, Lise. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know. Drop us a message. I'll get the timetable out this afternoon or this evening. So get those ideas in today. Let me know. Uh, right, it's Sunday. Go off and enjoy the rest of your day. Go and have some fun. Go and enjoy the... the well, get outside before it starts raining. Because we are due for rain today here in Caffili, apparently. Uh, other than that, enjoy your weekend. I'll see you tomorrow. Probably some kind of strength session tomorrow. Weight session. Uh, kick us off for the week. Bye-bye.